Welcome back everyone. Today, we're not going to review a watch, but a watch strap. This is the Artem Premium Sailcloth watch strap. Let me tell you guys honestly, I am a bracelet guy, but this watch strap may have changed my mind. Let me tell you why. But first, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss videos like this. Thank you. Let's talk about this watch strap. This strap comes in a bunch of variations. I strongly believe these straps fit perfectly on a dive watch. In front of you, we have four beautiful timepieces bearing the Artem strap. Let's start with this one. This is the 20 millimeter loopless black sailcloth with the white stitching. And it comes separately with the loopless deployment clasp right here as you can see that now I know I know I put it in the most obvious and most predictable watch ever I saw a lot of people posting photos of the SVB 143 sporting the Artem sailcloth strap and I wanted to try it on a different watch but my goodness this watch just looks amazing on this strap this seems to be the best Seiko to pair with the Artem strap is it let me know what you think down below anyway as I said previously on my video of the SPB143, I'll put a link up there, that the bracelet doesn't bother me, but it also did not impress me. It was just okay. This one though, it made the watch look even more expensive, contrary to the usual low-end straps that I tend to go for prior to this one. And the beauty of this strap is that it shows the craftsmanship of the watch. Look at this here. The sides look sleeker and the finishing just stands out more. I don't know why that's the case, but that's what I noticed. The bracelets tend to mute the edge of the watch. Maybe that's why I did not notice it as much before. And also contributing to the sleekness of the watch could be the dark colored straps, contrasting to the stainless steel case. There is also a grave stitching on this one, but I believe any stitching would look great on this watch. I just want to show you a quick shot on the wrist. It looks, oh my goodness, it just looks better than being on the bracelet. I don't want to go too far with the SPB143 because you might seen it a million times bearing the Artem strap. This one though, on the other hand, you don't see a lot. The Seiko LX SNR029 in the Artem strap. This one is also the loopless uh, black sailcloth. It's on a 22mm size, this time with a black stitching. And I love the look of it on this watch. The thing that stands out for me on these straps is the clasp. They have such high impact compared to a traditional buckle. Let's try to wear it. Oh, by the way, they also have the traditional buckle. Just want to show you how the SNR looks under my wrist. It's a huge watch. It just gives it a very nice presence. And surprisingly, I really like the look of it on the LX. The titanium finish, it pairs very well with the brushed finished clasp right there it really shows the zaratsu polishing even more now that's a strap that complements well to a watch now to be fair i've not owned any omega breitling or tudor watches or any swiss watch for that matter with a deployant clasp and strap like this well i have tried one on an omega of a friend but for owning one the best i could say was maybe a citizen echo drive but i believe the quality of this one is top notch the clasp feels solid and tight when pressing down to open the clasp. No squeaking can be heard. That's good. Even on these ones too. This intrigued me the most. And it might be my third favorite compared to the classic loopless one. And the last one that we'll get to later. This is their RM style deployant clasp. It is a Richard Mill inspired clasp and I kind of like it. To change the strap length, you have to use a flat head screwdriver. You're going to use it there. You can also remove it by using flathead screwdriver there. And it's really simple. And once you have fitted it to your size, you're good to go. And look at that. This is a 22 millimeter navy blue strap with a blue stitching that pairs perfectly with the blue dial of the Samurai. Just amazing. As you can see, this is a polished finished clasp and pressing it to release feels really nice and strong just a solid overall strap they also have a white stitching on this one. Oh, before i forget the the black strap also has three variations of the stitching here 
There's a white one, uh, the blacked out one, and a gray one. Finally, we have here the BPFF style. That's what it's called on their website. Uh, Deploy and Clasp, also inspired by the Blanc Pan 50 Fathoms watch. This is the one that surprised me the most. This is my first time seeing and feeling a clasp like this. The mechanism feels strong and tight, not loose or flimsy. Overall, this is my second favorite one. And as you can see, this one is a 18 millimeter with white stitching. Let's see it on the wrist real quick. So to adjust this, it just has a holder there that you just choose which size you want. So in this case, Mine is the furthest because I have a small wrist. 6105. Yes, vintage dive watches can look good on it too. This one agrees. Let's get to the most important part when it comes to straps. How does it feel on your wrist? In my experience, the quality and feel of it is premium, as the name suggests. And the material looks and feels durable. This watch strap requires a bit of a break-in period, especially on the thick part near the lug area. This area right here it's thicker compared to this area right here it is not always going to be perfect the first time you wear this strap or any strap in particular for some people it fits the wrist right away but for me it just needs a little push like this okay. just push so that you can just adjust that once it's stretched out and it adjusts to the shape of your wrist it really feels great the other great thing about this strap is that it can be worn on water i actually tried using leather straps on dive watches because i like the way they look but i keep forgetting when i wash my hands or dump my hand into the aquarium when cleaning that i was wearing the leather strap and i just ruined it unintentionally this is why i strongly believe dive watches should have this strap because let's be real the real diving is in the desk diving well let's just say 95% of the time and on bracelet the only downside is that the scratches will accumulate through all the contact it has with the surface unlike this one only the clasp is your concern again despite the fact that Artem sent these straps I really like these products it actually makes me excited to wear the watch even more as corny as it sounds okay I'm just going to show you a bonus watch here this is not a dive watch this is the Seiko SSK001 GMT, and this is what it looks like with the R-Time strap. Look at that, such versatility these straps are. I mean, look at how it makes the watch case stands out. This is the 22mm one from the LX, and it feels great. As you may know, the SKX007 has the same case with this one. I want to show you this, at least you can visualize what it would look like on your SKX007 or SKX009 or this one. This strap is going to be used a lot, I tell you. Just an amazing, gives it an amazing look in the feel. It's just very nice. So there you go, SSK001 on the r -time strap right beside there. The price ranges from the classic Sailkoff strap at 85 US dollars to the loopless strap, which on this one. And depending on the clasp of your choice, let's just say over $200 all in all. Without a doubt, if you enjoy wearing watches and are in search for the IT strap, this is the one to get. There's no cutting of corners here. It's all quality. It's all craftsmanship. You won't be disappointed. That's all for now. Thank you to the guys at Artem for giving me the opportunity to review their world-class straps. I'll see you soon. Stay safe.